If you're in your soft guy era, this is the one you want. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be trying out a new art challenge I found when I was doing my usual TikTok shenanigans. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the ones we did before though. So it basically uses, the challenge had him using his Spotify uh, playlist and then just shuffling through that and using the songs as traits for your character. Since I'm broke, we're using YouTube music, but I mean, same old, same old, right? So really how this is going to work is that we're going to have like four different uh, main traits for the character. First is going to be gender, second one is going to be like clothing style, third would be like the color palette, and that'd be using like the song cover, and then the fourth would be like the personality. And it looks like the first song is going to be I Really Want to Say at Your House from, you know, good old cyberpunk. Yeah, I love it. So that means gender is girl. Next song is going to be Allies. Um, that for clothing style, I would think more like gothic and like elegant kind of situation because the songs are a little bit more on the darker side. And then for palette, looking at power by Kanye. So just a ton of red is essentially what we're going to be looking at. And then the personality would be Dynasties and Dystopia from Arcane. So more dark and powerful again. So that kind of works pretty well with allies. Um, I'll get back to you guys when I got something sketched, hopefully. Uh, probably be like 40 years, but we'll see what happens. Alright, here's what we're looking at for a sketch, and I'm kind of liking, okay? I know I say that every time, but this time, I swear I'm not lying, okay? Just had to go a little bit more out there. Uh, I had a lot of trouble, if I'm not going to lie, uh, getting this sketch done. <laughs> this is like the 20th one I've fucking done. So I'm like, I was just like, please, man, come on, work. And it finally locked in a little bit. And I was thinking for like, character personality, a little bit of lore. Kind of like a person on the edge of losing it more villain i would i'm assuming right who's like kind of like a makima kind of character where they're like really really op but they kind of want to have that face of like being friendly kind of homelander is a good example too actually have not watched the boys but i've watched a 20 minute video about homelander so i basically know everything about the boys but i'm pretty much just gonna toss some base colors on here and see what goes down honestly and i'm gonna have it um i don't know, i really like the aesthetic of makima where it's like what the fuck is happening like that you know or like you have no idea what's going on or like what their powers are or anything it's kind of like reality bending so i kind of want to emulate a little bit of that with this one not to the extent i honestly i don't remember what makima's powers were but i think it was something badass i don't know i read the manga like two years ago so or last time i read chainsaw man it was 2020 so four years ago yeah so i don't remember most of it uh, i don't remember yesterday so yeah not much of that's in my brain right now if i won't be honest but only my friend forced me my friend did force me to watch the anime which was good season one was out a while it's been out for a while in the manga manga form so it's not really uh wasn't anything too new now i don't know what i'm gonna do for a background didn't really think that far uh you may have noticed that's a pretty common theme not much forethought in my brain we're in the same problem where i have no idea what i'm gonna do but I do know that she's going to have skin, so we're going to do that. <laughs> okay, so if we look at power, red is going to be the... I don't even know if this is a kimono, technically, but I'm a dumb American, okay? I don't know most of this stuff. It's going to be red for whatever the hell this is. And I guess I can kind of tell you, like, my general color process. It's nothing complicated. It's just putting them on there, essentially. I try and keep it pretty, uh, pretty chill, so... And if we look at the, without zooming in too far, we have blue, red, yellow, so she's gonna have gold. I wonder if like a light blue would work as a pattern in here. Let's do just a lot of red, because the whole album covers red. So I think hair color is like almost black, but still red. Kind of like Nobunaga from uh, Fate Grand Order, if you know what I'm talking about. If you are a fellow gambler for PNGs, or I'm not anymore, but I'm reformed, okay? <laughs> Although if you want to speed around being broke, that's a good way. Because it's like, there's not even the chance of winning money. You just get your PNG, so... I don't know, it's not even a PNG, it's you get a JPEG. It's a scam. Some more had canon. I'm just kind of thinking of this while I'm drawing. You could think, so this would probably be like, more fantastical universe. Or something with big like powers. Like, kind of like Chainsaw Man. I was listening to Kickback while sketching it, so that's where a lot of that came from. Kind of like one where there's like, 
powers like devils, but you know, something. I'm not making a whole universe for this drawing, but or, and then maybe she has like, maybe she was like an empress in like feudal Japan or something. And um, a little bit of a psycho, rules with an iron fist or something like that. Um, maybe she got betrayed and that switched up the personality. Was once a loved lord and then now everyone's like, hey yo, bruh, you know what I'm saying? We'll have to see. I don't know. I mean, that might All that headcanon might change in about two seconds. So developing lore here. Maybe not even like Empress. Maybe she's just like a leader of like an organization that's like powerful. I'm just doing like a, a rose pattern and a little bit of an art tip. You don't have to draw the actual pattern at all. Because like this one, we want to have a rose here in this section, right? So what I always do is like, if you think about a rose, really, it's like a central. And then there's just leaves that like fold in upon themselves and just loops out and just gets less dense as you go out, right? So if we use our noggins a little bit, I know I don't have one, so a little bit of a struggle. I try and emulate the middle, which is solid, and then the first little like rope, or, like loop, and then you just kind of loop out and make these lines thicker as you go out and more disconnected. You can connect some of them here and there, and it doesn't really look like anything until you're done. And you might have to tweak it a little bit, uh, depending on like the angles and stuff, so it makes sense. But and really, you just want to kind of simulate the shapes. And you don't want to do all of it the same way. You don't want it to be robotic because it is a flower, right? Uh, so it would not be like uniform. It's detail that wasn't there before. So I call that a win. Because I'm going to be honest, if I had to draw the full rose every time, yo, yo boy not drawing roses. Okay, I'm drawing fucking flat colors if that was the case. That's why I don't draw that much plaid because that is annoying and I'm not doing annoying things or I try to avoid it. That's why I like this style because like I, I'm... I'm glad that the styles like finally starting to come together because I am horribly lazy with like drawing and stuff. I still like it, but like, nah, like I just do it and I refuse to do the boring, uh, annoying things. So to an extent, uh, obviously you still have to practice and stuff, but this is my practice. Like stuff like this is my practice and it's like not the typical way, but I think it's fun. So, and it gets me doing stuff. Because it's either I do it this way or I don't do it at all. Uh, so I'll just do it this way. Because I find just doing sheets of practice, unless I really, really need it. Like a lot of times with hands and anatomy, I just do like full sheets of practice. But that's like the most boring way for me to practice, in my opinion. So I just don't. I like having a simpler lighting when I have more complicated stuff going on in the character. Just because I, I don't want it to be too hard to see what's happening. Because, I mean, you, if you think about it, you just did all this work on the character, and then now nobody can tell what's going on, because you have way too much shit going on in your shade. And it's like, you did more work to have a worse product. It's kind of weird. Alright, I think we got a pretty decent base shade going on. Uh, pretty much next steps is just going to be me uh, changing the colors of the actual shade, so it makes more sense in some areas. Some are too dark, some are too light. You know, just doing some extra shading and uh, rendering and all that. So, I'll be back when I got some other stuff going on. And for absolutely no reason at all, I usually start with the skin, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm sure I had a reason at one point, um, but that has left my brain, so. And my brain barely has enough room for all the important info, so that has left it already, I can tell you that. Now, I'm going to try and experiment a little bit with this one. I want to keep the shadows, like, pretty warm overall. Don't know if it'll work out, but I think I'm going to try and uh, do that. There you go. I think that's starting to look like it's a human that exists. Not a well done one, um, but it's starting to look a little bit better. I was a little nervous there for a minute, not gonna lie, but I think she's uh, coming together a little bit now. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna move on to the hair now. And that's one of the other reasons I chose, like obviously besides the color palette, but uh, one of the other reasons I chose like the like a red color for the hair was that we could use the same color as the skin. For the shading so it just makes my life a little bit easier obviously it's going to tweak it in a lot of areas but it's like the same uh, base level so we don't have to worry too much about like a lot of the littler things we just tweak it like a tiny bit and we're done you know it's just a lot easier and honestly i don't think we need to do much more with the hair uh, i'm keeping it pretty simple and it's working out sometimes i gotta add a lot more detail for it to like make sense and that's kind of dependent on the hairstyle but for this one, it's just kind of working out, go yep, like the simple way, which I am perfectly fine with. So one little tip for you guys, uh, 
when you have stuff like this, like the hair, how I, it looks like really dark. And technically that's accurate, but like it looks kind of shitty. Um, I like to use, this is supposed to be the ambient light. So like it'd be like the sky color, you know how that's blue, right? Um, but I, a lot of the time, just use the eye color. Just because I feel like it works better. Like a lot, it just, especially in anime stuff where like you're not really going by realism anyway. Because uh, she got four hands. So just use the eye color. Kind of like lightly throw her in there. And then I'll blend it out so it's smooth. And that just helps the eyes pop and then also um, separates the drawing a little bit more. Gives it a little bit more depth. Sometimes it looks, this makes it look worse. So that's kind of going to have to be up uh, depending on your situation. Just a little extra thing that you can try out here and there and see when it works out. See when it doesn't. And I honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, I don't know what these are. Like these little hair things. I don't know what I drew them out to be. I think initially they were supposed to be like roses or something. They're not right now, so, so I'm not sure I'm gonna shade them because I typically like to know, like, you know what I'm drawing <laughs> when, I, when I shade it. Like I want to know what it is, and uh, we don't have that at the moment. So I think I'm just gonna make them like kind of a gold foil type of. But yeah, so like, if she's powerful, gold is like pretty. That's a flex. I mean, that's still a flex now. Uh, but back then, like, that's a big bitch in flex, you know? And if you ball them like that, you know, you're pretty powerful, which this person would be. So that makes sense that they would have some gold foil on them, in my opinion. So that's what we're doing. So I'm th I, I think this is going to just have normal eyes, this character. Because I feel like if I gave him, like, demon eyes, that kind of removes the uncanniness. Because if you're, like, a really powerful character and you're a human... I feel like there's kind of like an uncanny valley effect. So you're, if you're a human with like hands spawning out of nowhere, that's kind of creepy. But if you're a demon, it's still creepy, you know? But it's not like as like, whoa, what the hell's going on here, you know? Because I'm kind of thinking this character would be like very powerful monarch, potentially empress, something in that vein. Uh, like sorcerer, probably. Maybe something to do with dark arts or whatever. But some sort, some form of magic. And I'm just going to assume A hey, was forbidden. Bit of a baller as well, because she loaded. If you're in your soft guy era, this is who you want to take you on a date, dude. She'll pay for all that shit and more. Give you 40 bands just for going out. And I kind of want to make it, like, the eyes look a little luminescent. Which I guess normally you want to, but this one a little bit more. Because you know how some eyes, like, you can still have, like, the reflection, but, like, it's not, like, glowing. It doesn't look like it's glowing. Uh, but I kind of want these ones to look like it. I'm not going to have, like, effects going to the skin and stuff, because I don't think it'll work out too well. But I just want to have a little bit of something something on top. Alright, we are good. The eye check has passed. Because yeah, I was kind of thinking of Makima, and then I just finished catching up to uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. So, we had some Sukuna action. So there's the forearms. And that's kind of, I think that's actually probably where like the feudal Japan vibes came from. Because I think he's from like feudal-ish Japan. Like kind of that era. I don't know if they gave him like an actual exact time. But I think it was like pretty far back if I'm remembering right. It's like, dude, Mappa's getting me hyped for... <laughs> like, I read the Jujutsu Kaisen manga, like, pretty much when it was, like, releasing. And I was like, okay, I mean, this is good, but it's nothing crazy. Mappa drops him, like, best shit ever, let's go! We Jujutsu Kaisen fanboys now! I don't know why, but it's just because it looks so good. Yeah, because I was like that with uh, Chainsaw Man as well. I was like, bruh, I have no idea what's going on. Now, granted, I did have, like, a 106 fever when I was doing that. But still, I was like... Nah, not, not my favorite. And then um, my friend forced me to watch the anime. And I was like, okay, top five, let's go. Although recently I haven't been reading that much manga. Because I found my DS and my heart gold copy. And I've been trying to get a shiny Ho-Oh through software setting. We're at like, I just hit 6,000 attempts. Sadly, no Ho-Oh. We'll get her though. But yeah, I'm just going to be a Pokemon degenerate now. Okay, I think that works out pretty well. Then I might do like a little bit of like overall ambient lighting on the character. Just gets that extra little bit of sauce, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think we made a pretty cool OC today. A little TLDR, wrap it up, just the lore of the character. So feudal-ish Japan, very wealthy, I would say powerful sorcerer-esque character, but still human, not any like, maybe made a contract with a demon or something like that. Now you can do some headcanon after that, but yeah, I think we got pretty solid uh, character. 
I mean, let me know if you guys enjoyed this like little challenge. If you guys want to see something like this again, hey, let me know. Any other types of videos again, let me know. Comment down below what you're thinking. Anything you think I can improve on, what you like, what you didn't like about the videos, any all that. As per usual though, uh, this bad boy is going to be linked in the description, top link, Twitter, whatever. And then I'll have the link to the TikTok that inspired this. I'll have that linked in the description too, so I'm not totally ripping off people's ideas. But I think that's all I got for you guys, so see ya.